Uh, Matthew Lee, uh, Inner City Press, on behalf of the Free UN Coalition for Access, hoping for readouts of your, your diplomatic merry-go-round upstairs uh, during the GA week. I want you speak a lot about reform. So it's something I tried to ask at the stakeout, but uh, thanks for giving me the question. There was a ca this, this case of John Ash, who I know is, is deceased, may rest in peace, but there was a, there was a court decision uh, uh, this summer in which basically it painted a picture of the UN as being quite susceptible to bribery. There was a uh, Macau-based businessman, Ang Lap Seng, was found guilty. So I won't go through, oh, through it all except to say I wanted to know what your view of whether the UN, beyond just the, some, some reforms to the PGA's office, whether it has instituted enough reforms. You're, you're, the former PGA yesterday sitting here said that there are crows picking around the side of the UN. There are a lot of business interests. Basically, they try to buy their way into the UN by hooking up with a small state. So I wanted to know what, whether your reforms will address that. And there's also a Code Blue report out today about sexual abuse, where they say that of cases they've uncovered, many of them are not disclosed in the Conduct and Discipline website. What's your plan during this GA week to try to address the sexual abuse issue of peacekeeping? Thank well, you. Well, in relation to the sexual abuse, as you know, um, we have taken already a number of measures. A global victims advocate was appointed, and uh, four uh, victims advocates were appointed in uh, the four situations that are more dramatic uh, um, in several African contexts. Uh, uh, we are preparing a compact to be signed with member states in order to make sure that there is effective uh, uh, commitment in relation to these. I'm creating a circle of leadership uh, with heads of government and state to assume engagement of states in um, making sure that everything is investigated properly. And so we are really committed to, uh, to make, make the best we can in, in this area, knowing the difficulties and the problems, and so, sometimes even the, 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 especially my main concern is with the victims, that sometimes have uh, an enormous problem in coming uh, with their cases because of the risks that they might face um, uh, in different uh, uh, conditions with the community or uh, even if the, um, uh, with the, the, the country or even if the, 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 the UN mission is not properly organized. So we are deeply committed to that. But the best protection in relation to abuses is the whistleblower policy protection. Uh, we have introduced a first group of measures to enhance the whistleblower protection when I assumed functions immediately in January. It was probably my first measure. And uh, after that, we have uh, introduced a number of other uh, reforms, which I believe are bringing our whistleblower protection policy to the state of the art. And if that's not the case, if there are other things to be suggested, we are ready to introduce them. Because that is the best guarantee that uh, uh, people can detect and denounce things that happen and that they will be protected if they do so. This is, for me, an absolute must and the best possible guarantee an organization can have in relation to the risks of abuse of power or uh, abuses of any other kind or of corruption or whatever. So this is a big concern for me and I think we are acting as we can uh, but with total determination to address the problem. BBC.